So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a wide variety of the basic solid modeling features that Inventor has to offer for very basic things. Uh, I'll do a more advanced video later. This is just very basic features. I'm going to start off, I, I've already made a small little rectangular block here, and I'm going to do a little bit of a revolution around this side. And I'm going to add a point for a hole over here. So this here is an arc. To make an arc, you just click two points and then drag out, and then you can dimension the arc. That'll give you the um, the radius of the arc as if it were an entire circle, and it puts your point hole center out here. So that's something. Uh, in a lot of these, you can also do arcs tangent to points. You can do uh, arcs by the center point. And you can do the same thing with a, a lot of the other basic sketching tools give you other ways to make uh, a lot of the basic features using different techniques so that you can so that it's more flexible and you can do a lot more with it. So I've got this arc here and I'm going to just round it off to an even uh, let's say 2 inches. Yeah, make it nice and small. And then uh, most of the time when you do a sketch you want to look at something up close so I'm going to go top that gives you a good view of what's actually going on here. Uh, I've got this hole. I'm going to dimension it to be three quarters of an inch from each of these walls. And you'll, well, no, I'll put it two inches from this wall. Uh, you'll see why I did that later. It's just there for now. All right. Uh, when you when you start a new sketch on a surface, it projects the geometry that's already there into the sketch for you. So each of these lines is, you know, the corner that was already there. They always show up in yellow, which makes it easy to see. So sometimes they don't always work and you have to make your own lines, but for now I'm just going to use them if I can, and if I have to go back and edit it, I will. So I'm going to finish the sketch. So revolving things is a really useful feature for just about anything. Uh, you select a profile, which is going to be what you're revolving, and then you select an axis that you're going to revolve it around. So you see here that makes kind of a little weird shape. Uh, I don't need it to go all the way, so I'm just going to have it extend to the next surface, which is this flat area over here, which is kind of cool. You can also make it go the other way, but that's not going to do anything. Or I could cut it out. Or I could just do what intersects, but that's I, I've never used that feature before. You could also make it a surface. Now, making it a surface has some interesting uses I'll talk about later. But we'll just cut it out for now give you something cool to look at. So you see the rest of the sketch, the point there disappeared. A lot of times you want to do a lot of work in one sketch so that you can go back and um, use that sketch elsewhere or and do most of your edits from a single sketch. So to use it in multiple features, you'll share the sketch, which you just go over here to your panel, right-click the sketch, and then share it. You can also unshare it if you want, but if you need to. So now I'm going to show you uh, the whole feature. Now when you select the whole feature, it'll automatically look for any points that you threw up on a sketch and start there. Uh, right at your fingertips, it'll give you a place to type in the dimension already highlighted. So all you have to do is start typing. That's pretty useful. The whole feature has a wide variety of functionality. You can do counter bores. You can do counter sinks. You can do... Uh, you can thread your holes, you can thread, uh, you can do pipe fittings, you can set the termination, all kinds of things. But this is just our, our basic hole here. Now, let's say we want to, let's say we've got a cylinder or something and we want to put a hole through it. I, I'm going to do a fillet to show you how you can do something like that. So a fillet is just rounding off an edge. Uh, I'm going to do relatively big fillet here so that we have something to look at. Uh, you can select all fillets, which would select all of the surfaces here, or you can select uh, all rounds, which is even more uh, ridiculous. I mean, look at what it did to this. That's absolutely insane. Uh, you can set variable fillets so that they start big and go small. I'm actually going to do that here a little bit. Over here. So I'm going to make it so that it goes from really big at the bottom to really small at the top. That's useful. You can also select more points along this line just by going over and clicking on the line. And 
then you'll be able to um, decide where it starts or have it progress at a certain rate instead of just the automatic built-in rate. That's really useful. You can also make sure that it's not very smooth. You can have it go straight or you can have it go gradually like this. That's just a wonderful built-in feature. And you can also do setbacks so that it looks a little bit better. But I'm just going to start with that. So one of the features in holes that's really useful, you don't even have to use a sketch for, is you can set it concentric to something. So the first thing you do is you select the plane, and then you select the concentric edge that you want it to share a center point with. So if you had a cylinder, it would select the center of the cylinder. If you select a fillet, it will select the center of the fillet here. And then, you know, you you do all the other things that you would normally do for a hole. You can also use the chamfer feature, which just cuts it flat, which is kind of pretty. Uh, it's very useful in a wide variety of applica applications. Obviously, you don't want a lot of sharp edges, so that's... Um, good. And then you can also shell something, which let's say you want it to be um, hollow. It's very useful. So here you can see that it left a tenth of an inch of uh, material around all of the edges and around all of the features and gave us this completely hollow, really interesting structure. It's not really used for anything here, I'm just demonstration purposes. I hope you found that useful. Uh, I'll start more complex things in the next video. Thank you.